Hello everyone, it's Joel Davis with the United Medical Transportation Providers Group and you are the broker.com, helping you to build a highly effective and highly profitable broker business. I'm going to keep this video short because I just finished making a lengthy video. I think it was close to an hour long talking about the uh, the most common questions we've been receiving for you are the broker.com. Um, we published our P&L for last year, and uh, a lot of you guys had a lot of great questions. So I had Amelia put together a, like a top 10 list or something like that, and then I kind of formatted it to make it a little easier. Um, but anyways, go check out that video. I'll put a link uh, down below. You can check out that video. Good video, great question. So thank you all for your great uh, emails and your correspondence with Amelia and everything. It's been great. So. Um, so, congratulations to all of you, you active UMTPG members who are starting to leverage our um, uh, Teachable account where we're going to be posting more and more of my videos. So from here on out, a lot of my videos regarding uh, the NEMT, home care industry, things like that, that's going to be on our Teachable account. So check out that platform if you're an active UMTPG member. Um, it's free. It's included with your membership. Check that out because, uh, I mean, we're already uploading a bunch of videos. Some videos that were archived content, which is great stuff. Uh, other videos that we've already started to put together. Going to be talking about a lot of different um, topics regarding your logistics, pricing, contracts, vehicles, employees, all that kind of good stuff. So there's going to be a lot there. And listen, I know a lot of you are upset um, because we're transitioning to that platform look we got to um uh god has blessed us and we're busy as heck and that's great um <clears throat> many of you know i refer i refer to all of the freebie the professional freebie experts out there as you know the white walkers of the industry so for those of you who are familiar with the game of thrones they're like those those never-ending zombies that just keep multiplying and they just want to, they're just, they suck the life out of you with their questions and they just want you to work for free and they want you on the phones and, you know, we get so many, like, you know, I've seen some of the threads recently, people, ah, oh, can you set up a quick phone call? No, we're not going to set up a quick phone call because the quick phone call turns into 15 and 25 minutes and it's like sucking the life out of you. They want everything for free and... You're an a-hole if you don't give it to them for free. We just don't have to. We're just too busy. And I mean that with all due respect to everybody because, you know, like many of you know, a lot of my peeps, they're constantly working on everything from the market analysis, to different research projects that we're doing uh, for our client providers who we're doing one-on-one -on -one with. So we just don't have time. You know, I was reading a, a recent thread of, can you do a quick phone call? And I, I don't remember if it was Dan or... Don said, uh, you know, email us your questions. And then the person, the, the woman said, well, my husband's a hands-on person, so we need to set up a Zoom call. I apologize. We're not going to be able to meet your request. You don't run our operation and our methodology. Just like you're not going to let someone tell you how to run your home care or your NEMT business, try to dictate to you what you need to do and how you need to do it. That's not how we operate, especially because we're busy. Now, I know that upsets a lot of people. We're all supposed to work for free. It's not going to happen. God's blessed us. We're busy and we need to focus on those people who are serious. People only appreciate what they're invested in. I'm going to share this quick tidbit that's going to illustrate my point. Um, this gentleman, and I'm not trying to belittle him in any way. I'm sure he's well-intentioned, but I, I'm not going to bore you with all the details. But this thread that he had with Don, uh, he said... Um, I am ready to move forward to go all in with this business. I have just invested in a 2017 Chevy Express 2500 van. I am ready to move forward and go all in with this business. I have just invested in a 2017 Chevy Express 2500 van. I am going to do whatever it takes to be successful. Don tells him, okay, that's awesome. It sounds like you want to work with Joel. Sends him the link. I'm not going to invest $4,000 in that. You just said you're ready to move forward. You're ready to go all in. You're ready to do whatever it takes to be successful. I'm not going to invest $4,000 in that. Mind you, I'm about to raise my rates for one-on-one because 
that's just the way it is because we're busy. But you don't want to invest money to go all in, but you just purchased a 2017 Chevy Express 2500 van that is a cargo van. This gentleman just purchased a cargo van. Can you understand why we cannot work with the White Walkers and how all these freebie experts and all these nonsensical, contradictory nonsense that just floods the internet is just absolutely ravaging people? This guy purchased a cargo van. Maybe you didn't hear me correctly. A cargo van. What's the spelling on that? C-A-R-G-O. A cargo van. He has every intention. Again, I'm sure he's a nice guy. Well-intentioned, hard worker, all that kind of good stuff. He wants to start his NEMT business with a cargo van. Do you want your loved one transporting a cargo van? Let's think about the logic on this. You just, I don't know how much he spent on this. He doesn't say, I just, again, I just perused the whole thread. There's went back and forth. At one point in time, Don said something like, I, I'm thinking that this is a joke, but you're kidding me because there's no way you're going to start with a cargo van. No, he is. He is. He just purchased a cargo van, so he's ready to go all in. He's going to do everything to be successful. She suggested that you need to work with Joel. I'm not paying $4,000. Okay, you're out. Go follow the White Walkers. I don't know how much he just invested for this 2017 Chevy Express cargo van. But it's an absolute waste of money. Sell it and liquidate and get your money and start over. Nobody, not ever, not today, not tomorrow, not ever is going to insure your cargo van for a passenger for hire transport vehicle. Nothing. Take any MT out of it. You can't even use this for taxi, Uber, Lyft. You cannot insure this as a for hire vehicle in any industry. So already we're coming out of the gate, loss, loss. So you can't insure the vehicle, and if you can't insure the vehicle, that means you're never gonna be able to register it to properly use it for any MT, taxi, or anything, anything you want to transport people. You cannot use this van. You can't get it properly insured, which means you're never gonna be able to get it registered. I don't know where you live, but depending on your state, you're never gonna pass a DOT inspection. They won't even entertain it. So you can't insure it, can't get it registered, which means getting it DOT'd or inspected by PUC, that's off table. Or any, even if you don't even have to comply, depending on the state you're in, and you don't have to comply with DOT or PUC if you're being uh, regulated by a Medicaid broker and they're responsible for fleet management, they're never gonna insure, or they're never gonna to inspect this or co-sign this. This is the damage that, now I, this is an extreme example. Trust me, this is an extreme example. But this is what we see on a daily basis. So this is where, can I get a quick phone call? No. Send us, we got a lot of content out there. I got a million videos out there. If you're not going to be an active participant, A, in your own rescue, which means you listen. You be willing to listen. You be that dry sponge to water that you want to soak up as much knowledge and information as possible from credible and reliable sources. I make no bones about it. I'm going to underscore this point. If all you want to do is be a successful NEMT transportation provider, I could help you, but that's not my aspiration for you. I'm just going to be honest with you. My aspiration for you is that you leverage your NEMT business, or if you have other businesses, whether it's home care, we work with some people who have everything from like landscape business, people who are in real estate, all different types of service and product based businesses, and they diversify into home care, NEMT, they start their own broker business. We run the gamut. We only have time for people who are willing to learn, bottom line. People like this who've already done what they want, they then want us to just co-sign what they do. I'm going to do this over here, and they'll just snip in. They'll, they'll reach out to you for a couple of quick questions, just to kind of co-sign what they're doing. Again, I'm not going to bore you with the details of this entire thread between Dawn and this gentleman, but when she suggested, that you really need to stop. You really need to stop and start to study Joel's material. Listen, he was having no part of it, none of it. It's the perpetual white walkers, the zombies of the industry. 
When one you think killed him, no, he kills you. Now you become a zombie. They multiply exponentially. This is what's leading so many people off a cliff. It's wasting your time, wasting your money, leading you down so many rabbit holes that are leading you in the wrong direction. It is just a vicious cycle. So when people ask, Joel, why are you no longer going to post as much hardcore content as you have previously? We are transitioning to Teachable because there has got to be some degree of filters or barriers that's going to help, uh, help us and allow us to filter out this nonsensical nonsense. Joel, you're an a-hole. Yeah, yeah, I'm, okay. Yeah, I agree. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. Joel, you're mean. Ah, eh, that one's debatable. I'll take the a-hole over being mean. Joel, you're too direct. That I'm going to take. I'm definitely going to take you on that. Joel, you don't hold your whole damn punches. That's true. That's true. There are people who will retain our services, and I tell them up front, my job is not to tell you what you want to hear or co-sign what you think you want to do. My job is to put you in the best possible position to make money. Bottom line. Joel, I want to be the best Best non-emergency medical transportation provider I could be. Go sign up with a broker and drive your own car. You know, what are you wasting your time with that for? Just go make a little bit of money. My goal is to put you in the best possible position to make money, to grow and scale. If you want to make money, the key is growing and scaling. Growing and scaling. Oh, I, I work for myself. No, no, you own your own job. You're driving for yourself. Maybe you have one or two other people. Mm, that's not growing and scaling. That's being an independent operator. You're not growing and scaling with that. Joel, I got contracts. I signed up with Logistica. I signed up with MTM. No, 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 no. Broker agreements, that's, that's worthless. There's no resale value on that. You ain't selling that business. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. I want people that can grow and scale, squeeze out as much juice out of that fruit, squeeze out as much money as possible, push it through your system, limit your exposure to taxation, multiply, uh, your money exponentially sell your business for a future multiple everything that I want to do in working with you and helping you is to set position and sell your business for multiple if we're not putting ourselves in a position to build grow and scale with the end game of selling now by all means some of you watching this you want to build a business that you can have your son take over that's cool I get that there's I there's I respect that but my real goal is to put you in a position to sell it a multiple. That's when you make real money. When you build your business, have it for four years, five years, boom, sell it for a multiple. That's how you start to exponentially become wealthy. Bottom line, you want to make real money so that, that your money works for you, it powers you, makes more money so you don't even have to worry about nickel and dime nonsense, sell it a multiple. And you do it multiple times with multiple businesses. Have multiple businesses going. If you have a if you have a million dollars if you have a business right now that makes a million dollars, and let's just say your margin is twenty five percent, awesome. You know you're going to make two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So you're making two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Is that making you rich? No, that's a lot of money. Okay, it's making a lot of money. But if you really want to start to multiply at a multiple your business, well, we need to have a second or a third business now that are pushing forth, they're all starting to do exceptionally well, the six and the seven figures. Now all of a sudden I got one business that's gonna give me 25%, one's gonna give me 35%, one's gonna give me 20% and all that. Now we're starting to make real money. Joel, I just wanna be the best AMT transportation provider I could be. Eh, you don't need me, you'll figure it out. Go do your own thing. Go, go, go get your cargo vans. Join the White Walkers. There's so much free content out there with the White Walkers. You wanna be successful, you want to exponentially multiply and grow your business, then please, I beg of you, listen, listen, and adhere to what I tell you. Joel, you think you know it all? No, I don't know it all, but I know what I do know, and honestly, it works. Trust me, trust me. If you've been following any of my content for any length of time, you know. I'm painfully transparent. I've made so many mistakes. When I, when I first launched my business, oh, Lord, Lord Jesus, help me. I was the biggest D-bag out there. So naive and so stupid. It was my first business. I didn't know my ASS from a hole in the ground. But after making countless costly mistakes, and now over all these years, 
having the distinct pleasure to work with so many great people from around the country to have a macro perspective on what works and doesn't work. I can tell you what works and doesn't work. And I can see it coming from a mile away. So, please, avoid the White Walkers. I used to call it the brother-in-law advice. You know, it's your brother-in-law, you see him at Thanksgiving, and he's an expert. He knows everything. He's an ex never done it himself, but he's an expert. Avoid the brother-in-law advice. Avoid the White Walkers. They're vicious monsters. They are vicious monsters, and they're soul-sucking. They will, can I get a quick call? They're going to kill you. They're going to drag, that quick call is fine. And they expect you, and if you don't, they write you off. I want to do one-on-one -on -one with you, but if you're not going to call me each Tuesday or whatever day, you, then I'm not going to do it. Please, don't wait up on the phone. I don't need your money. We're not going to work together like that. It's not going to happen. You're not going to dictate my methodology. It's not going to happen. I am here to serve and take good care of my, pe my people who I do one-on-one -on -one with. If you're one of my clients doing one-on-one, -on -one, you know I'm fast to respond and take care of you. Because when it comes to the, AMT, the NEMT business, you're my priority. That's it. I do not have time for the White Walkers. That's exactly why we're unteachable. So for those of you who are a member of our community, congratulations. I look forward to continuing to work with you. Those of you who aren't, you might want to join us at some point in time in the near future. A lot of good things coming out. So join us. Leverage. All the details, the nuggets, the golden nuggets of information that not only have I personally experienced and learned from School of Hard Knocks, but so many of the client providers who we've been fortunate to work with. Leverage that knowledge, please. Don't go out there and buy a cargo van and think you're going to put a square peg into a round hole and you're going to do your business your way. And then when you're offered the opportunity for help, I'm not going to invest in that. You think you're outsmarting us. All you're doing is hurting yourself. Don't be like that. Don't be that guy. Be the dry sponge to water and soak it all in. When you do, I'll see you at the top.